Here's another handy tip from the Western Experience. Paul here from the Western Experience. Hey, I got a handy tip for you today on felt pads. A lot of people ask me, how do I clean my felt pad? So let's just talk a little bit about that. You know, after you're done riding, every time you finish riding, grab one of these sponges, we sell them, we'll give them to you with a felt pad. Uh, take and clean it up in a circular motion. That'll take all that loose dirt and hair off of the pad. Um, go across your whole pad. If you do this on a regular basis, you're gonna find it's gonna be a lot easier to, to maintain and clean your pad. So do that. You can even take go, just one of your horse brushes, medium stiffness, and just kind of brush off all that loose stuff that you've loosened up. So, so you've actually got your pad fairly clean. Do that on a regular basis. When, uh, when your pad's all sweated up and wet, um, don't ever store it backwards on the spine like this. That, that, uh, you're, you're, you're distorting the shape of the pad and everything. You wanna keep your pad hung up. You can actually hang it over a, a rail of a fence works good, or you can even hang it from the, from the gullet hole here. Uh, just with a tack hook and you can hang it that way. So that's a good way to store it. Um, but uh, let them dry out good. Don't put them in a plastic bag. Don't put them in a case, anything like that. This is, these are wool, pressed felt. Um, you want to let them dry well on their own. Uh, wool has an amazing ability to wick the sweat and to breathe. But in order to do that, you have to keep the pores of the, of the fibers open. So, so that's how you do that. When it gets really dirty, take it a uh, little soap, uh, I always say just some mild laundry detergent works very well. Warm water, not hot water, uh, in a bucket, scrub it up, get all that loose dirt, and, and you'll notice it'll start to, the dirt will start to soften, of course, with the warm water and everything. Okay, so you rinse the pad with your, with your hose with a, just a nice sprayer on it. Rinse till you get clear water coming out all the edges, rinse towards the edges. And then uh, it's going to take a little while for it to dry, so dry it just like we talked about before. Either hang it over a fence or hang it from the gullet and uh, let that pad dry. You'll be amazed. Your pad will come back to life. It'll have that nice spring and that bounce to it. It'll have all the features that, that it should have with the, with the natural wool. One last tip. If, if in fact, uh, you're a little concerned about your pad getting dirty, we do have a wool under pad. This is just a thin liner that you can put under your pad. These are easy enough to throw in the washing machine and wash too. So another little helpful thing that'll help you. Thanks for watching, hope it works for you. Any more questions, come in and see us at the Western Experience. We're the people that know saddle pads. See us at either one of our locations in Rogers or Lakeville, that's Pleasant Hills, the Western Experience or visit us online at phsaddle.com. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to like and share.